Congressman Justin Amash, meantime, introducing a new bill aimed at ending illegal protection for police officers. Oxford Aaron Parsegian joining us live in the newsroom tonight after speaking with him. And Aaron, this would make it easier for people to sue officers who violate their rights. Yeah, Doug Janice, Amash's new bill would end a protection known as qualified immunity, a doctrine which makes it difficult to hold police officers accountable in civil cases. And we've seen its very impact here in Grand Rapids. In the wake of George Floyd's death, calls for sweeping police reform are echoing across the United States. What happened to George Floyd was horrific, and uh, the response to it hasn't been surprising. Libertarian Congressman Justin Amash sat down with Fox 17 News to talk about his ending Qualified Immunity Act. He says it's the first of many proposals needed to reform the criminal justice system. I've been concerned about civil asset forfeiture. I've been concerned about our drug laws. And qualified immunity is just another example of a justice system that is not working for people and preventing people from getting uh, the redress they deserve. Qualified immunity is a Supreme Court doctrine which often gives law enforcement officers protection from legal recourse in cases where they violate civil rights. There's no reason we should have uh, this type of immunity which started off much narrower many years ago and has become much broader over the years and now basically prevents anyone from uh, getting uh, justice if there hasn't been a similar case in their jurisdiction where the court already said, yeah, that was a constitutional violation. In fact, the doctrine is at the center of a legal battle Fox 17 highlighted in our reporting back in February. The simple fact is that the majority of the time this situation happens to anyone, they have no recourse. Grand Rapids native James King says he was assaulted by plainclothes officers in a case of mistaken identity in 2014. I mean, they were literally okay. pounding him in the head, though. Okay. The incident was caught on camera. Now, six years later, the case will be reviewed by the U.S. Supreme Court. His lawyer says they have not been able to get the officers in court because of qualified immunity. The officers claimed, yes, even if we violated Mr. King's rights, we can't be held accountable under this doctrine that the Supreme Court created in 1982 because there wasn't a specific case on point that exactly mirrored the factual situation of the case that we had with James. And so we didn't have fair warning. And interestingly, Amash's bill has received wide support from congressional Democrats, who today offered their own plan for criminal justice reform that bundled banning chokeholds by officers, ending no-knock warrants in drug cases, and more that can be found on fox17online.com. Amash told me on Sunday he believes all those issues, well important, should be tackled individually. Live in the newsroom tonight, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News. All right.